Here I'm going to illustrate another big potential problem that you sometimes run into. Once again, this being the ground, this is now a side view of a house where you have a lower roof and then there's a higher roof above that. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a window so you can get the idea. If you're trying to reach this point up here somewhere, say there's a window here that you're trying to reach. If you put the ladder here, again, this is a side view. If you put the ladder here, you'll notice that right here is a fulcrum. And when you as a person get above that point, you're going to put a force down that way that will kick the ladder out this way. Now, if you have another person, you can set a person here, and if this guy trusts that guy a lot, this guy will keep it from falling back. But you can see the whole problem here is that the top of the ladder is not touching the wall. And that's where we get into trouble. And so in a similar situation, this piece here being the ladder, okay, um, in this case, the top of the ladder is contacting the siding here, but just because of the unique situation, at a, some point in the middle right here, you still have the ladder also touching this lower roof. Um, it possibly could touch both points. You know, you might move the, the ladder out this direction some, but then your angle gets wrong, it gets off. You don't want too extreme of an angle. And so um, the problem is, is that once you get past this point, and you got your guy up on the ladder here, right? This ladder can flex a little bit. And even though that is contacting there, you put weight on this part of the ladder, it flexes a little bit that direction, especially when it's extended out to its fullest extent. When you take an extension ladder and fully extend it, that's when it has its more, uh, that's when it's most likely to be flexible. So you got to look out for this situation too. As always, you got a guy right there, you got it covered.